Are you saddened by how little your chatbot can do? Do you want more out of your stream? Well, I'm about to tell you about a chatbot that can not just take your stream to the next level, but through the roof. What I'm talking about is Streamerbot, and let me tell you, it's way more than just a chatbot. With a little time and effort, you can do almost anything you want to your stream. Your imagination is pretty much the limit. In this video, I'm going to take you through some examples of things you can do in Streamerbot. But first, let me show you how you set it up. In your browser, go to streamer.bot. There's a link in the description. Click the download button. Once downloaded, right click on the zip file and click extract all, then extract. Now run the streamer.bot exe. I got a Defender smart screen warning when running it, but don't worry, I've confirmed it's safe by running it in a sandbox and reviewing its activity. You can see the results with some more detail in the description if you're interested. To get through smart screen, click more info, then click run anyway. Now we're in the software. Next, I recommend connecting everything you need into Streamerbot. You don't have to connect everything I'm about to go through, but the instructions are there if you want. To connect your Twitch account, click connect to Twitch at the bottom of the screen. This will open your browser and prompt you to sign into Twitch. After signing in, authorize Streamerbot. If you want to use a bot account to send messages in chat instead of your Twitch account, you can do this in settings, Twitch accounts, and tick the use bot account for messages box, then click connect to Twitch. You can then sign out of your account and sign in with the Twitch account you plan on being your bot. You can connect either Streamlabs or Stream Elements. This will allow you to make actions based on donations you receive through those services. First you'll need to get an API token from your service. Click the links in the description to go straight to the page you need to go to. If you weren't already signed in when clicking the link, you'll need to sign in and then click it again. For Streamlabs, go to API Tokens, then copy your Socket API token. And for Stream Elements, click Show Secrets, and then copy your JWT token. Open Streamerbot, go to Settings, and then go to either of the services, Settings again. Now paste your token and click Connect. You can also connect OBS. This will allow you to make actions that can control OBS. To do this, you'll first need to install OBS WebSocket. I'll quickly run through installing it. Go to the OBS WebSocket link in the description. Click Go to Download. Scroll to the bottom of the page and click OBS WebSocket Windows Installer. Once downloaded, run the EXE and go through the installation. Now open OBS and click Yes on the WebSocket prompt. Give the server a password. I recommend leaving everything else as default. Go back to Streamerbot and open the OBS tab. Now right click on the top section and click Add. This is where you'll type in the details of your OBS WebSocket server. You can leave the host and port as default. Type the password you previously typed into OBS, and I recommend ticking the Auto Connect and Reconnect boxes. Click OK and then right click on the new connection and click Connect. To convey how to use different parts of the software, I'm going to take you through some basic examples of things you can do. The first example we'll create is each time a viewer types kekw in chat, it plays a sound effect. First, create an action in the Actions tab by right-clicking and clicking Add. Give it a name and then press OK. Now add the sub-action Play Sound and browse for the sound effect you want to play. Then press OK. Next, open the Commands tab. Right-click and click Add. The command we want to use will be kekw, since that's the text we want to trigger the sound effect. Now click the action box and select the action that we just created. If you like, you can add specific groups or users to the allow list, so they can only trigger this action. If the allowed box is empty, everyone will be able to trigger it. Click OK. Now if we type that specific word in chat, it will play a sound effect. The second example is each time a viewer redeems a specific channel point reward, flip my camera in OBS and then flip it back after some time. Create an action in the Actions tab, give it a name and press OK. Give it a sub-action of Flip Source in the OBS section. Here you'll see the connection to your OBS WebSocket server. Select the scene and source you want to affect and how you want it to flip. I want the camera to eventually return back to normal, so I'll add a delay action for the amount of time I want it flipped. The time is in milliseconds. Then I'll copy the flip source action that was created and paste it below the delay. Now go to the channel points tab and add a new reward by right clicking and clicking add. Give it a name and a description so your viewers know what it does. Also set how much it should cost. For this specific example I want to add a cooldown so it can't be triggered too often. Now click the action box and set the action that we just created. Press OK. Now if I redeem the award, my camera will flip, 
then a couple of seconds later, it'll flip back. The third example is each time I get a new follower, send a message in chat. Create an action in the actions tab, give it a name and press OK. Give it the sub action of send message into chat and type the message out you'd like to send. So this action can be dynamic, you'll need to use a variable name in place of the user's name. To use a variable in a chat message, put a percent sign on either side of the variable name. In this situation, I want to use the user variable to display their name. There's a link in the description to see a list of all streamer bot variables. Next, go to the settings tab, then the events tab. In the general tab, click the action box under follows and then set it to the action we just created. Now, when I get a new follower, a message will automatically be sent into chat. Well, now you know some of the basics of using Streamerbot. There's heaps more you can do with it that I didn't cover in this video, so feel free to subscribe. I'll make some videos about it in the future. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below. And if you're interested in my stream setup, I stream over at twitch.tv slash netto62. See you next time.